Hello everybody, Andrea Majeski here with Dental L. Happy holidays. Well, technically the holidays are over, but I'm still clearly in holiday mode. It is December the 30th. I, I'm usually still thinking or in the holiday mode a week after New Year's. So bear with me, you guys, but I find that Christmas, the holidays always just kind of comes up so, so quickly and then ends. So I kind of like to hang on to it a little bit. Plus, if you are taking your quality assurance exam soon and you need help, you're probably thinking, I kind of wish the holidays were still here so I could just relax and not have to worry about studying. So you might be wondering, well, how do I study with the course? Okay, so the best thing to do is to go module through module. You don't have to do module one and then two and then three. That's the order is completely up to you. Um, you could do module three and then module one and then module two, you know, it's totally up to you there. But it's a good idea to go through all of them. Even if you think you have a fairly good grasp on let's say pharmacology, read through everything anyway. Because if you think you know and then you don't look at it and then you take the exam, I can almost guarantee you the questions in that exam will be trickier than you thought. And if you had just taken the time to read through that topic in the modules, in the course, even if you don't 110% know the right answer, you can at least have a pretty good idea because that is what the board exam is all about, is there will be questions that you don't know. There will be questions that you think you know, but you're not sure. The key is to answer them the best of your ability. And the best way to do that is to study, even if you think you know the right answers. Or if you're the opposite and thinking, oh my goodness, I haven't studied for a test for like 10 years or longer or five years, and you just have no idea where to start. Read through those modules that will help you. And your mock exams are after those modules. Now, those mock exams don't always go, you know, page by page because if they did that, that would be too easy, right? You know, those mock exams are designed to make you think. Some of those questions you won't find word for word in your notes because I want you to think. And if you don't know the answers or if you, if you keep on getting the same answers wrong, then you know, okay, I need to study anatomy a little bit, bit more because something I'm clearly not understanding. That is what the mock exams are for. They are there to help you. Mock exams are the best thing to really see if you're as confident as you might think you are in taking your exam because the, the exam isn't easy. It's not as hard as the national board exam, but it's not a cakewalk like a lot of people think. People have been unsuccessful taking the quality, um, the quality assurance exam. Don't let you be one of them because that would just add some extra stress, right? You want to pass the first time and that is what this course is all about to kind of guide you in the right direction to help you pass. So let me know you guys if you have any questions, if you need anything, good luck and thank you guys so much for signing up because I know I can help you. Let me know, though, if you need anything, and I'll see you guys next year.